Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, and I'm coming to you here from Tier 1 Cards and Games in Anchorage, Alaska. So, today we're going back to that uh, that Imperial planet that decided it no longer had to fill its quotas. After the first wave of Dark Angels were rebuffed, they regrouped their efforts and decided to move back and try to take over the uh, take over the planet and teach them a lesson. So they moved in a lot more heavy weapons this time and a lot more heavy gear to make their point a little bit more known. And in return, looks like the uh, heavy armor from the Planetary Defense Force was was walked out. So uh, that's the story behind what we've got going on here. We've got a 2,000 point battle that we're going to be doing. We're going to be running the ITC Relic, uh, Modified Relic uh, missions. So we'll go over those in a second. But first, uh, we'll take a look at the armies and the psychic powers for both sides. So for the Dark Angels, I'll be running a Combined Arms Detachment and a Ravenwing Strike Force. Start with the Combined Arms Detachment. Leading it will be a level 1 Librarian with a Force Axe. For troops, we have two five-man scout squads with camo cloaks and sniper rifles. In elite choices, we have a Mortis Pattern Dreadnought with two twin-linked LAS cannons. We have a five-man Terminator squad with a Cyclone Missile Launcher and a Land Raider Crusader as a dedicated transport. For heavy support, we have a five-man Devastator squad with two Grav Cannons with Grav Amps and a dedicated Rhino as a transport. We have a three-tank Predator Squadron, all with twin-linked LAS cannons and LAS cannon sponsons. We have an Aegis Defense Line. Then for the Ravenwing Strike Force, we have a level two Librarian on a bike leading it. We have a five-man Ravenwing Black Knight Squad with a Ravenwing Grenade Launcher in there. We have a two-bike Attack Bike Squadron with multi melta upgrades. And last but not least, we have another two bike attack bike squadron, both with Melty Melta upgrades. For the Planetary Defense Force, we have Knight Commander Pask and a Lehman Russ Punisher uh, with Dozer Blades and extra armor. And he's joined with a Lehman Russ Demolisher with Dozer Blades. We have a Ministorum Priest. We have a level two Primaris Psyker. We have a level one Primaris Psyker. There will be two 10-man veteran squads with plasma guns and a dedicated chimera as a transport. We have a 10-man veteran squad with two plasma guns and a dedicated chimera as a transport, but this chimera has two heavy flamers on it. We have an Aegis defense line. We have a vendetta with three twin link glass cannons. We have a seven-man Bulgren squad with four slab shields and three power mauls. We have a two Wyvern squadron. And last but not least, we have a two Basilisk squadron. All right, psychic powers for the Dark Angels. The level one librarian rolled on divination, and uh, so he gets prescience as his uh, primaris power, and, four, and he rolled and got four warning. Then the level two librarian on the bike rolled and he gets uh, Mind Worm. He rolled on Terramancy, so he gets Mind Worm as the Primaris. You got Righteous Repugnance and Trephination. For the Planetary Defense Force, the level one Psyker rolled on Telepathy, so he gets uh, the Psychic Shriek as the Primaris, and he also got Invisibility. And then the level two rolled on Divination, so he gets Prescience as the Primaris, and then he got, uh, he rolled and got Misfortune and Precognition. So those are the armies. The story here with the relic is that uh, this right here was one of the top advisors for the planetary governor and one of the big decision makers in deciding to deci uh, to not fill the quotas. And he was uh, flying around this battle and his, his plane was shot down and the crew inside died. Uh, he scrambled for cover and ran inside of this uh, burned out husk of a building in the middle of the two warring armies and left them left him in the middle there. He's uh, extremely frightened as there's las blasts flying over his head and all sorts of sounds of people dying. So he's going to act as the relic. Both sides wanting to capture him alive so no one's going to try to shoot him. Uh, the Dark Angels want to interrogate him, find out more information and then probably bring him in for, you know, for hurt. And the, uh, the Planetary Defense Force obviously wants to take him back because he's one of their main leaders. Uh, the modified mission with the ITC mission, we have underneath this uh, predator right over here, 
is, uh, was, is objective number two. And right in the back over here is objective number one. So those are going to be the modified Maelstrom missions. So we'll go over those at the beginning of each uh, turn. Um, so right now as it is, I'll show you the deployment here for the Dark Angels. Here we've got the Land Raider with inside of the Terminators. We've got the Aegis Line set up over here with the Predator Squadron. In the back there we've got the Level 1 Librarian. We've got the five-man Black Knight Squadron, and attached to it is the level two Librarian. We've got the Mortis Pattern Dreadnought up on here. Inside that Rhino there is the, is the Devastator Squad. We've got the two Attack Bike Squadrons over here. And then over here we've got the Scouts infiltrated over here and infiltrated over here. Along the line here we have one of the Chimeras. Inside there is the level two, uh, the level two librarian. Oh, uh, sorry, primary psyker. A little bit of a space brain on the brain there. Uh, we've got another one of the chimeras in here. The bulgrin are there and attached to them are the priest and the uh, level one primary psyker with invisibility. We've got Pask and his buddy right here. We've got the wyverns right here holding on to objective one, and we've got the basilis over here in the corner behind there, all behind there. Uh, Aegis defense line. In reserve, he has his flyer and one of the and the one chimera with the he with the heavy flamers. So, uh, before we go any further, right now the dark angels are set to go first, unless he can roll a six. Oh, so close, so close, but not quite enough. Only in horseshoes and hand grenades. Uh, so, dark angels will go first. So we'll come back to you with the missions that we roll for the modified maelstrom and then we'll go back to you with the movement on turn one after movement turn one for the dark angels so these are the objectives what you do is you roll uh, two dice at the beginning of each game turn uh, each player does and uh, and it, based upon what you get on the dice determine the missions that you have for this modified maelstrom so if you have a hold objective one if you roll a one hold objective two if you hold a two Destroy an enemy unit if you roll a three or a four. If you have a five, you have to have a scoring unit behind the enemy in the enemy deployment zone. And six is have at least three scoring units and none of your enemy scoring units behind your own deployment zone. So uh, Dark Angels I rolled and I rolled a three and a six. So I have to destroy an enemy unit and have a uh, and have the three units in my deployment zone, which shouldn't be too hard. And Astra Militarum, the defense force rolled a one and a six. So he has to hold objective one, which he's holding prior, uh, right now, and have nobody behind, and have the three units and none of mine. So uh, these guys right here, who are in the deployment zone, are probably gonna be target number one for him to get that. All right, so those are the objectives that we've got to go for the first turn. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for Dark Angels on turn one. All right, Dark Angels movement. Uh, he moved up here, passed his uh, mobilization roll, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Uh, these guys shot up. They have skilled riders, so they didn't have to worry about that. These guys just kind of stayed the same. I think they kind of, they may have like turned a bit. Uh, he stayed where he was. He moved a bit, so he doesn't have uh, Skyfire. He shot up 12 inches there. These guys shot up 12 inches. The two guys on the right um, each passed their dangerous terrain test. Sniper guys stood still, and that's about it for the movement. Then I rolled on, a, so we'll move on to the psychic phase now. I rolled a two, leaving me with five dice and leaving my opponent with five dice. So first thing we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna roll, you know what, I'm just gonna roll them all on prescience. So I'm gonna roll five dice on prescience onto, the, uh, onto my predators there. So looking for two, it goes off with uh, four. And that's not denied. Only three. Whew, that is about, oh, that's close. That's, that's, that's real rough. All right, so it goes off, so they've got prescience thanks to my four successes instead of three. Whew, all right, so that's psychic phase. So we'll come back to you with shooting phase on turn one for Dark Angels. All right, so starting it off, these guys are gonna fire into that chimera there. They've got side armor. We're gonna start with the squad in the back here. So uh, I'm gonna roll just the two multi melters because that's the only thing that can do anything. So uh, looking for threes, got one. Uh, side armor is 10, so twos to glance. 
Oh, nothing. All right, so we're gonna go on to the front two guys there. Uh, same thing, hitting on threes. One hit. Looking for twos to glance. That's a pen. Uh, night fighting, so you want to hit your six up. Nope. So uh, it's plus two on this. Looking for a five or better. Oh, blows it up. So that's uh, that's first blood and killing a unit. So that'll be nice. So that blows up. Uh, so we'll figure out what happens. Uh, well, let's see. How far away does it blow up? Six inches. Whew, brutal. All right, so we'll uh, figure out the results of that and get back to you. All right, so we've, uh, the explosion is gonna hit the 10 guys who are inside there. So we've got seven regular guys. We've got two guys with plasma guns, which are gonna be the black, and then the sergeant who's gonna be the red. These are wounded on threes. Okay, so one of the, let's see. So we're just one of the regular guys there. So make all these, what are those, is their save? Five. Five plus. Oof. Just two. Two Just regular. Two guys survive. So three regulars survive because one didn't get wounded. Right. So we got three regular guys survive from there. Whew, brutal. All right, then it hits uh, the primary psyker there. So this is wounded on a three. That wounds. So he gets his save. Five plus. Five plus. Nope. So he takes a wound. And then we've got onto the Bulgren. Seven people in the Bulgren squad are getting hurt. So the majority of toughness there is five. So uh, these are going to be wounded on fives. So we've got uh, four. You want to make four Bulgren saves there? Yeah. Four plus. Four plus. Wait. Yeah, there's four. So four four pluses. Just one. Just one. Wow, nice. So he takes one wound uh, on one of the Bulgrens there. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty brutal. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, so we'll move on in the shooting phase. All right, so now this uh, scout sniper squad here. They're gonna fire in on that primary psycho there. So I got five shots hitting on threes. Okay. So we got four hits. Uh, wounding on fours. Oop, two uh, rending, so that's AP2, but he's got his five plus uh, invul. Oh, he's dead, because he only had one wound left. All right, so moving on. All right, now these uh, scout snipers here are gonna fire into the Bulgarian squad over there. So hitting on threes. All right, so we got two misses. Uh, wounding on fours. Okay, just one, which is AP uh, AP two. So they've got a invul. Do they have with that shield? Because the shield one's the closest. Does he have um, an invul? No, he's just got night fighting. Oh, okay. Yep. So six plus night fighting. Oh, he makes it with a six. Nice. Cool. All right. So moving on. All right. Now this uh, squadron of Punishers here, uh, not Punishers, Predators, come on, are going to uh, fire on the Punisher over there onto Pask and his squad back there. So uh, I got Prussian soft, so they're going to be, everything's twin linked. All nine uh, last cannon shots are twin linked. And they have Tank Hunter as the squadron special rule. So uh, I'll be re-rolling to hits and re-rolling to, uh, to pens, the armor penetration rolls. So uh, here we go, looking for threes. Oops, he fell over. We'll get him back in a second. So I've missed three. Reroll. Looking for threes. All right, all but one hit. And then uh, looking for fives, because their front armor 14 on those lemon russes. All right. So, so far I've got one pen and one glance. Tank Hunter gets to reroll. Oof. Wow, that reroll really helped me. So, uh, all right, so do you want to, you get, uh, these guys over here act as like a mobile Aegis line, and because of night fighting, now he gets a three up save. So let's do the, uh, we'll do the four, um, we'll do the four saves for the glances. Just one gets through. All right, and then the two for the uh, pens. Uh, they both get saved. Oh, wow, fantastic, so the front, because there's a squadron there, the closest one, which is that one, takes the wound. So, not bad. Not bad. Not for me, but not bad for you. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, moving on in the shooting phase. All right, now uh, the uh, Mortis Pattern Dreadnought here is going to fire onto those guys over there, because you can see them through the window. So, uh, looking for threes to hit. All right, twin linked. All right, 
So we've got two hits. Looking for fives to glance. We've got one pen. He gets a three plus save because of night fighting. Nope. So uh, it's a pen. So plus one. Three. Shaken. So it's shaken. So uh, the, the demolisher over there is on one hull point and it's shaken. All right, moving on. Yep. All right, so this guy is going to fire onto these guys. So uh, he moved 12. So uh, Power of the Machine Spirit, I'm going to do the multi melter, which is going to be the red at full ballistic skill. And the uh, salt cannon is going to be firing at snapshots, but it's twin linked. So looking for sixes and a three. Okay. Maybe I should have just snap fired him. <laughs> All right, looking for sixes. All right, nothing from them. So now on this, I'm looking for a four to glance. That's a pen. Uh, three up save. It's good. So it's saved. All right, so uh, I think everything else is probably just going to be flatting out, which is boring to watch on film. So I'll just do that, and we'll come back to you after movement phase for, because no one's going to be charging, so we'll just come back to you after movement phase for uh, the Planetary Defense Force on turn one. All right, so movement phase for Planetary Defense Force here. Uh, he moved his Bulgarin over here towards these guys. Uh, Pask and his buddy there just moved up a bit. Uh, these guys were pinned. Uh, this guy moved up this way to try to take out those guys. Um, and everyone else just kind of stood still. So uh, then we rolled for, he rolled for Psychic. He rolled a one, uh, which leaves him with two dice left. And I've got uh, four dice for dispelling. So he's going to roll here. He's rolling on Psychic Shriek from there to my guy. Nope. nope, does not go off. So uh, that's the end of the second phase. So we'll come back to you with uh, shooting phase for Ashton Militarium on turn one. All right, so first things first, he's going to shoot uh, with the Chimera there into my scouts over here. So the blues are going to be the multi-laser, and then the, uh, the grays are going to be his, uh, are going to be the heavy bolter. So hitting on fours or threes? The fours. All right, so we've got strength six, strength six toughness four, hit anything but, but a but. And then uh, strength five, toughness four, uh, one. one. So uh, Heavy bolter. I'll roll that three, because it's uh, ruins, which is four, plus one for camel cloak or night fighting, whichever, because I don't think it, oh no, does it double pile on? I don't know, so we'll see. I think it's like a three plus. So he's good anyway. So, all right. Now the two uh, plasma guys inside are gonna fire. Hitting on, three. Hitting on threes. Oof, one gets four. hot. What's his? Okay. Uh, five. Five, dead. so one plasma guy's dead, and one hit, one. one hit, one wound, and then uh, three plus cover, he's All right. good. All right, so uh, moving on. All right, so starting off here, Pask's uh, squad here, squadron there are gonna cast an order called Strike and Shroud, which will let him, uh, on a nine, a nine or under, it will uh, allow him to shoot and then pop smoke. Uh, so it does not go off. Oh, and he can't do any more orders, right? Because that double, double sixes. Mm -hmm. See, I'm learning things. I'm starting to get this Astra Militarum thing down. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, but they're going to fire. These guys are going to fire onto these guys. So they've got the Ravenwing Strike Force special rule, which means on first turn, anybody who flat outs, which these guys flat out, um, they count as jinking until the next turn, but they'll get to shoot full ballistic skill, which is pretty nice. So, uh, so he's going to be firing to here. He's got strength five rending, 20 shots from this Punisher cannon. So uh, hitting on, what is it? Hitting on threes? Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones re because of preferred enemy, because of Pask. Oof. Couple ones there. All right, re-rolling. All right. So, wow, two more hits from that. That's pretty brutal. All right, so this is strength five. Yep. All right, so uh, looking for fours. Sixes. Looking for, <laughs> he's looking for sixes. I'm just looking for fours. Uh, yeah, just, uh, that counts. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got. Two normals and one red. Oh, re-rolling ones. Re-rolling runs because of an enemy. That was a lot of ones there. Ooh, nice. Six. There you go. That's how you do it. All right, so we've got uh, three. We've got five rending and two regular. Um, they're gonna take their jinx save on that. Um, so five rending and three regular, was it? Or two regular? regular. All right, so we've got seven. Um, seven two pluses, because they've got three plus jinx save because of, uh, because of skilled rider, plus one because of night fighting. So it's two plus and it's re-rollable, but we're doing ITC re-rollable, which is any two plus save that's re-rollable becomes a four plus. So looking for two plus on these. And they make them all. All right, cool. All right, so those guys are okay. Moving on. 
All right, and now he's gonna fire his heavy stubber into them. So hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of uh, furred enemy. Nope, nothing. All right, so now moving on. All right, now the wyverns here are gonna be attacking over here. So uh, they've got twin linked strength four AP six blast, small blast that they've got here. So the first one is a full scatter, um, but it's twin linked. Uh, you're gonna go one inch. Yeah, I'll take. All right, let's take the one inch. So that's where it's gonna stop there. So that's the first one. Hits four. Um, direct hit. Another four. Ooh. Uh, that's going up that way. He's gonna re-roll it because of twin linked. That's cool. He's moving around a bit, but that's a direct hit. So that's another four. Direct hit. Another four. <laughs> oh man. All right, re-roll that one. So that's going off. It hits what? One Just guy? One. Just one guy? All right. Reroll. Reroll it. Direct hit. Another four. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Direct hit. <laughs> Brutal. A direct hit. Another four. So that's a whole lot of dice. So we'll figure that out, and then we'll come back to you with that. All right, so we had 29 hits here. It's strength four on the toughness five, ignores cover. So uh, you got one more down there, sure. Uh, so this is wounding on fives. Ooh, it's a whole lot. <laughs> shred. And shred, so he gets to reroll all that aren't fives. That's still a lot of fives already. So those are there, reroll. Ooh. Ooh. A couple more. Alrighty. So how many is that? Twelve. Twelve. All right. So uh, we're gonna get those dice together. Here, I'll just roll these ones here. So twelve, three pluses because they've got to take armor saves. Um, they can't take their cover, the jinx saves because it ignores cover. So looking for three pluses. Oh, one, two. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So five, so that's gonna be all of my Black Knights. Uh, brutal. All right, so uh, moving on. All right, now these guys are gonna fire onto my uh, Librarian there. We've got a Blast, direct hit. Direct hit. Uh, direct hit. And that's gonna scatter off of him. So, uh, what's the strength? Four. Strength four, so it needs fives to wound. One got one wound. One four plus because you lost a uh, skilled rider there. Rerollable. He's good. Woo! All right, moving on. So now these guys are gonna fire back here. So they get uh, two shots. Um, it's barrage, so that's gonna scatter off six nine inches. six inches. So I think it's a little bit more my way. So it's still going to hit one guy. So uh, then the second one, oh, the second right over here. So then the second one is going to flip this way. Okay. So just one hit on them. But it's barrage, so it's going to hit on the side armor, which is side armor 11. So what's the strength on this? Nine ordnance. Nine. So he's going to roll two because it's ordnance. Um, so he needs twos. So he's got one glance and one pen, or pen. So just the pen. So uh, they get a three plus save because of mm -hmm. Aegis Line and uh, Night Fighting. Um, yes, so they're good. Oh no, they don't because it's, uh, barrage. it's barrage, so it's coming from the side there, so they don't get that. Nope. So we've got one pen, so do you wanna? Yep. Four, so it's just uh, stunned. stunned. All right, cool, so he's gonna take one hull point and be stunned. All right, so moving on. All right, so these guys, that's the end of the shooting phase, sorry, these guys here are going to uh, charge onto him. So Overwatch here, I've hit on fives and sixes because of Grim Resolve with his uh, tw the bolter. So um, the twin link bolter, rapid firing from the front of the gun there. So fives and sixes, oh, two sixes. Uh, toughness five, strength four, so looking for fives. Nothing. <laughs> double sixes into double ones, who does that? All right, so he needs 10 inches for this charge. Does not get it. All right, so that's the end of uh, Planetary Defense Force. Um, turn one, so we'll come back to you with the results of the modified Maelstrom uh, in a bit. So after turn one, uh, Dark Angels got both their objectives. I had to destroy an enemy unit, which I did uh, with the, the Chimera. 
and uh, have three uh, scoring units behind enemy line behind my own objective, uh, my own deployment zone. Sorry, and none of his. So I got that. Uh, he got one because he held objective one, but he didn't clear me out of uh, his deployment zone, so he didn't get uh, six for his. So I rolled again and on the turn two, and I got three and six again. So I have to destroy an enemy unit and have three scoring units behind my deployment zone. And what do you? What did you get? He got four and six. So he got the same, basically the same thing: destroy an enemy unit and have three scoring units behind his deployment zone and none of the enemies. So. Uh, so that's it. So now we'll come back to you after Dark Angel's movement phase on turn two. All right, so movement phase for Dark Angels. Uh, these guys moved up this way 12 inches. This squad's looking up on that guy. This squad's looking over on that squadron there. Um, these guys disembarked so they could grab the relic dude inside there. He moved around a couple inches so he doesn't have Skyfire. Uh, he couldn't move because he was uh, got shaken. Um, these guys uh, didn't really move, they just kind of stood where they are, have their line of fire. Uh, he moved up six inches and then these guys disembarked from there. Uh, he moved over this way and that's the movement phase, that's what I got left here. So uh, then we rolled for Psychic and I rolled six. So uh, I've got nine dice for, uh, for casting and my opponent has seven dice for dispelling. So first things first. I'm going to roll four dice on Righteous Repugnance on these guys, which would grant them, uh, on the Terminators, which would grant them Rage. So uh, I need one. It goes off with three. You going to try to deny it? No. Nope. All right. And then uh, he's going to cast Prescience onto, uh, with the, my remaining five dice, onto my Predators. And I need two, and it goes off with four. Nope. Nope. So that goes off. So these guys are prescient, and these guys are raged. So, uh, all right, that's the end of the psychic phase. So uh, we'll come back to you with the shooting phase for Dark Angels on turn two. All right, so we're going to start with the Predators over here. Um, so they got prescient, so everything's twin linked, but he's shaken, so he's going to be sh shooting snapshots. And his side sponsor on the right hand side here because he couldn't pivot doesn't have a line of fire over there because the wall on the ground here means he can't see that guy. And he can't, he's just out of the arc there for hitting on Pask. So I've got uh, the two black ones are snapshots. So they're going to be hitting on sixes. And the other six are hitting on threes. So threes and sixes. Everything's twin linked. All right. Threes and sixes again. All right. So those snapshots didn't hit. So now we're uh, glancing on fives, and we've got Tank Hunter, so we get to reroll these. Glancing on fives. Okay, so I got two pens. Glancing on fives. Two more pens, so we got four pens. So uh, they're going to get four plus cover because it's going through the those guys there. So, all right, so three get through. So we have to do it one at a time because if it blows up, it goes on. So. Uh, plus one on the guy on the right there. Uh, does not blow up, but he's now wrecked. He's got three anyway. Yeah, he's got three at that point. So now these are all going to go on to Pask. Uh, they're all plus one. There it is, Whoa. six. So he blows up. So we'll uh, we'll figure out how far he, how far does it go. Three inches. So uh, we'll see how that hits, and then we'll come back to you with that. All right, so pass exploded there, hitting three guys in this squad. I did three wounds, um, but then he looked out sir and then took two, saved one. So that guy right there took two. So he's down to one wound there. So pretty brutal. All right, that's Slay the Warlord. So now uh, moving on in the shooting phase. All right, so now this attack bike squad is going to fire into that chimera there. Um, so I've got uh, side armor 10, so the bolters can actually hurt, which are going to be the green, and the black are the multi meltas. So um, hitting on threes. Okay, all hit. So the greens are wounded on sixes, and the blacks. Oh, I'm going to do them one at a time each here. So uh, so it's eight out of ten. So I need two to glance. That's a pen, and that's a pen. So those penned, and then these. Sixes to glance, nothing on there. So uh, let's see what the two pens are. This is plus two because it's Melta. Oh. Boom, it blows up. 
So uh, we'll figure out uh, what happens from that, and then we'll come back to you. And that's what's left. So the sergeant and the last plasma guy that was alive there um, died in the explosion along with one other regular guy. So they got six guys there, but they passed their test, so they're not uh, leadership test, so they're not pinned. So uh, moving on in the shooting phase. All right, so these guys here, this is attack bikes, are going to shoot onto these guys. So I've got the green are going to be the uh, are going to be the twin linked bolt guns, and the blacks are going to be the meltas. So hitting on threes. Okay. So the black is wounding on twos. The greens are wounding on fives. All right. So we've got two wounds. One of them is uh, AP two. So the bolter wound. So that's nope. Takes a wound. And then he takes, oh, then the other one can't be saved, so yeah. he takes it, so he's dead. So one guy dies with the two wounds. All right, so moving on. All right, now these uh, scout snipers here are going to fire onto the Bulgren squad there. So uh, hitting on threes. All right, so they all hit. One of them's a precision shot, which I'm going to put onto uh, the Primaris Psyker. And then, uh, so wounding on fours. The black is on the Primaris Psyker. Alrighty, uh, but I got so three wounds. Two of them are rending, so two of them are AP two, um, and then I got one regular. So, do you want to look out, sir? Those because I think the priest yeah. is the front guy there. So, look out, sir. The regular, looked out, sir, and then the other looked out, sir. All right, so they're all looked out, sir. So, um, so onto him. Let's do the regular one first. Four. Four. So he's good, and then the two rending. So it's, four. so it's one, and then one of them will take a wound. Yeah. So, yep, that sounds good. All right, so moving on. All right, so this scout swipe sniper squad here is going to fire onto the Bulgarian squad over here. Uh, only three guys can actually see the squad, so uh, they'll be hitting on threes. Ugh, okay. Uh, wounding on a four. One wound. Uh, look out, sir. Got Looked out, sir, and then uh, uh, cocked. Oh, nope, nope. So it takes a wound. All right, so moving on. All right, so now my land raider here is going to fire onto this Bulgarian squad over here. So it moves six inches, so uh, the assault cannon can fire full ballistic skill, which is going to be the green. Um, but then, because of power of machine spirit, I'm going to fire the uh, multi melt at full, which is going to be the red. And then the hurricane bolter on the side there is going to be the black. They're going to be firing at snapshots. So looking for threes and sixes. Uh, everything except the multi melta is twin linked. All righty. All right. So uh, hitting on sixes and the one three. Nope. 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 All right. So strength six on the greens, so they're wounding on uh, threes, and wounding on twos on the red. All righty, so that's uh, all wounds. This one's AP two, this one's AP not anything I think of import. So, uh, so three three pluses first. Three three pluses, all saved, and then he just takes the one wound. Cool. All right, so uh, moving on. All right, so now the Terminators here are going to fire into those guys there. So the only thing they can do anything is a Cyclone Missile Launcher. So he's going to be hitting on threes. All right, just one. Strength eight, toughness uh, or armor 12, so looking for force to glance. Nothing. All right, so uh, I think that's it for shooting. So uh, I might have some runs, but those are boring. You don't want to see those. Um, so then we'll come back to you with the uh, with the assault phase. All right, I lied a little. I forgot about this guy. So uh, he's going to fire on these guys. Only one gun has uh, arc on there. So uh, he's hitting on a three. All right, wounding on a two. It wounds. There we go. All right. So now I'm done shooting, and we'll come back to you with the charge. All right, so these guys here are going to charge into these guys here. So uh, it's a five inches away, and they have to go over the Aegis line, so that's plus two to the distance. So I need a seven inch charge to make it. Um, so I need a seven on this, and they get it with an eight. All right, so we'll move them into, into, into combat, and then we'll come back to you with that. <laughs> All right, so they come in. Those guys are piled in there, we'll count it. We're just all do it at the same time, even though the sword guy goes first. 
Um, so the swords are going to be the, the black, and the greens are going to be the guys with the power fist. So they each have base two, plus one for the charge, plus one for rage. So they're each having four attacks here. So they're all hitting on threes. All right, wow. Yeah, that's quite a few misses there, but hopefully enough. So I need uh, strength four. Rear armor is ten. So sixes on the black. Um, strength eight on the power fist. So uh, twos to glance on the green. So, all right. so we've got one, two, three, four, five, which I think leaves one guy with one, mm -hmm. him with one. So, yep. um, oh, but these are all. Well, actually, these are pens. Forgot about that. Yeah, they're AP two. So. One at a time, or actually, yeah, one at a time to see if it happens. Nope, nope. on that one. There it, there it is. So one explodes. So that would have been, he explodes, and then there would have been, the other guys would have been wrecked. So, right? Because uh, isn't that, or two more, it would have been, well, then the other explodes. He only explodes so, once. Roll to see your distance, because yeah, you could glance him to death. Well, what I'm saying is, because of that, it moves over. So then I ruled another explode, so they oh, okay. both explode. Okay, I got so you. they both explode. Distance of the two, four inches. So that'll definitely get all those guys. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see if this gets any of the guys. So uh, we'll come back to you with the results of that. All right, so those are dead, and the explosion managed to kill one of my guys because I can't make two plus saves to save myself, obviously. So uh, that's the end of the assault phase. So we'll, uh, we'll come back to you with uh, Planetary Defense Forces turn two. All right, so movement phase on turn two. These guys actually fell back last turn, but they regrouped and moved up a bit there. So they'll be firing snapshots. These guys crept up this way towards the bikers. These guys up here moved up this way to come around the corner, try to take the relic, which is in the back there. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And everything else just kind of stood still. Uh, his two reserves, the flyer and the other chimera, did not come in. So uh, that's kind of brutal. So see how it goes on here. Uh, so moving on to the psychic phase, he rolled a one again, which gives him two dice, gives me four dice. So uh, what are we going to do? We're going to do psychic shriek. Gonna do fire. Psychic shriek onto my bikers over here. Needing one. Needing one. Does not go off. So that's the end of the psychic phase. So we'll come back to you with uh, shooting phase for Astra Militarum on turn two. All right, so starting off the shooting phase, these guys are going to snap shoot into these guys. So we've got nine shots coming from them because a bunch of them are in rapid fire. So looking for sixes. We got one. So what's the strength for three? Toughness four. Looking for fives. Nope, nothing. All right, so moving on to these guys, rapid firing into these guys. So they're hitting on full ballistic skills, so hitting on threes. So four, strength three, toughness five, so looking for sixes. Oh, two of them. So we got two three plus armor saves, and they made them. So, uh, yep, so that's that shooting. Uh, moving on. So the wyverns here are shooting on him. So first is a direct hit. So that's one. Uh, that goes this way, but it's twin linked. Direct hits, that's two. Come on, man. That's gonna, nothing. 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 So you got two out of four, three, three out of f uh, five, four, four out of six, six. Five, out five out of seven. Out of seven. Three so six out of eight. So you got six hits on him. Strength four, toughness five. Look, uh, strength four, right? Yeah, strength, strength four. four, toughness five. Looking for uh, fives. Rerolling because Re of shred. Just three. Just three. So you got three. Let's come over here. Uh, so three, three pluses. And he made two of them. So he failed one. So he's got one wound on him. Uh, and he's only got one wound left. Um, I think that's the end of the shooting phase for him. He's got a little bit of a run. But again, that's boring. You don't want to see that. So, uh, and is there going to be no charges? So that'll be the end of... Um, That'll be the end of the uh, Astro Mail Tower in turn two, so we'll come back to you with uh, the Maelstrom points. All right, so Dark Angels, I got both uh, three, which is destroyed enemy unit, and six. So uh, I got both mine. Uh, unfortunately, Astro Mail Tower didn't get any of theirs this turn. So then we rolled again, and I got one and six, so I have to hold objective one, which is the one that he's currently holding, and six, which is uh, 
uh, again, having three, I've had this every turn so far, three on my uh, deployment zone and none of his. Uh, then he rolled a one and a five, so he has to hold objective one and, um, and have a scoring unit at least partially in my deployment zone. Uh, so we'll see what happens going here on to turn three. We'll come back to you after movement for Dark Angels on turn three. All right, movement phase for the Dark Angels. He kind of shuffled around here, six inches, looking on these guys. He moved around this way. These guys kind of shuffled around a bit. Uh, he stood still and just pivoted a bit. So uh, he's got Skyfire, um, which means during this interceptor, so during the shooting phase, he'll be hitting snapshots on the ground guys. Um, over here, the rhino shot through the wall there, passes test. Um, and he, there, so he, they have a clear open line of fire there. These guys moved up towards these guys. I've got those bikers over there looking over that way, maybe looking over this way, who knows. Those guys stood still, um, and these guys moved up this way. So uh, that's the end of the movement phase. Psychic phase, I rolled a two, leave me with five dice. So uh, he's gonna try to cast prescience onto there. I'm gonna roll all my dice on this. It does not go off, all right. So that's the end of the second phase. So we'll come back to you with shooting phase for Dark Angels here on turn three. All right, so uh, this squad here is gonna fire into the Bulgren there. So I've got, uh, I've got two, uh, two uh, grav cannons, which are gonna be the green ones, and then I've got two rapid firing bolt guns and one, rapid, uh, and one bolt pistol. Those are gonna be the black. So everything's hitting on threes. Oh, pretty good. All right, so their armor is four. So the greens are going to be wounding on fours. The blacks are going to be wounding on fives because they're toughness five. All right. Uh, these get to re-roll because of grav amps. Pretty brutal. Um, all right, so we've got five, six, seven that are AP2 and one that's uh, not AP2. So the first five. First five there. Um, and then these guys get some cover save. Yeah. So that's the first five. So we got two more that are uh, cover saves. So two four pluses. Good. And then one more cover save or one more armor save. Nothing. So he takes a wound. So, okay. Cool. Moving on. All right, so now he is going to fire onto them. So he moves six inches, so uh, I can fire the assault cannon, which is going to be the green, and the multi-melted because of the power of the machine spear, which is going to be the red at full ballistic skill. The blacks are going to be the two hurricane bolters hitting at, uh, they're going to be snap shooting. So looking for threes and sixes. Everything's twin linked except for that multi-melter. So. All right. Three and sixes. All right. So uh, strength six, uh, toughness five. So the greens are wounding on threes, and the black is wounding on fives. All right, so we just got one wound. And it's saved. Cool. Moving on. All right, moving on to the Predator Squadron here. They didn't get prescience off. So uh, I'm just gonna have the three, they're gonna be firing on these guys. So I've got uh, the blacks are gonna be the three twin link shots and the greens are gonna be the six non-twin link shots. So hitting on threes, uh, cocked, all right. This is twin linked, all right. So these are all wounded on twos. All right, so you've got three, six, seven uh, saves. So everything over here has a five plus invul. So seven, let's just do five, seven, there we go. Seven, five pluses. So you've got one, two, three wounds. So the front guy is dead. All right, so moving on. So moving over here to these scout snipers. They're gonna fire onto these guys. So hitting on threes. They all hit. Wounding on fours. Oh, what? One, and it's eight B2, so he's dead. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this squad right here into those guys. So hitting on threes. Ugh. All right, wounding on fours, two wounds, but not AP2, so two dead. 
All right, so they're two dead. All right, moving on. All right, these guys are firing into these guys. So I've got four um, storm bolters, which are going to be the green, and I've got the black are going to be the cyclone missile launcher. So uh, we'll just roll them over here. Um, hitting on threes. Okay, not bad. So uh, the greens are glancing on sixes, and the blacks are glancing on twos. All right, so I've got one pen and one glance. So let's see what the pen does. Uh, it's not plus anything. Cocked. Six. I don't think it's AP. I don't think, it, oh, it's open topped. Oh, so it does explode. So the first one explodes, and then the second one takes a glancing hit, and then we'll see how far the explosion two inches. That'll be enough to hit the other one. So it's strength four, need a six. No, nothing. So uh, one explodes, and one takes a glance. All right, moving on. All right, so these guys are going to shoot onto him. So I've got the green are going to be the, the twin link bolt guns, and the black are going to be the multi melters. So uh, hitting on threes. Okay. Twin linked. Okay. Uh, so the green needs a six, the black needs a two. All right. Whoa. Okay. So we got one glance and one pen. Uh, let's go with the glance first. Four plus cover save. Nope. Pen. Nope. So uh, it's going to be a wreck. Let's see if it explodes. It doesn't matter. It's not going to hit anything. So uh, it does explode. So nice. take it off. All right. Cool. All right. So moving on. All right. So he is going to fire onto these guys. The only one gun can hit, and it's uh, snap firing because he's got sky fire interceptor on. It's so need a six. Nope, twin linked. Uh, nope, so he doesn't do that. Moving on. All right, storm bolter from there is gonna snap sh shoot into them. So looking for sixes, I got one. Wounding on a toughness three. So looking for three, it's a three. AP four, I think, something like that. Yeah, cool. All right, uh, or a five, AP five, I think. So still five plus? AP five, yeah. AP five, yeah. All right, so uh, cool, so that's that guy. All right, moving on. All right, so these guys, we're gonna fire into these guys. You can only see the two, uh, the two characters back there. So uh, the greens are gonna be the uh, twin link bolters and the uh, blacks are gonna be the multi melter. So hitting on threes. All right, twin linked. Oop. All right, so majority toughness now is three. So the greens are wounding on three and uh, the black is wounding on two. All right, so that's three wounds. One of them's AP two. So let's do the first one, the AP AP one. Let's do that lookout, sir. Uh, he's just gonna do his four up invul. Oh, four up invul? Oh. Nope. Nope, so he's dead. Five up. Five up invul? Nope. And then, and then another one? No, so he's dead. So they're both dead. All right, so uh, they're dead. And I think that's the end of my shooting phase. So um, we've got a couple leadership tests that will be made. Uh, let's take it on this guy first. Sure, let's show it on film. Seven, he's good. <laughs> These guys, seven. Nope, they're running. How, long, how far? Four inches. And then these guys are good. Seven, right? Yep, they're good. So, all right. So uh, we'll come back to you after movement phase because I don't think anyone's within charge distance of anyone. Well, maybe. These guys, nope, they didn't. No, they shot over there, they shot over there, yep. So everyone's outside of charge distance. So we'll just come back to you after Astro Militarum and movement on uh, turn three. All right, end of movement phase. His reserves still did not come in. Brutal. All right, so he moved up six, looking on these guys, trying to charge in and take back one last ditch effort to take back his, uh, his boss there. Um, these guys moved up here looking on these guys and they did not regroup so they're still running back but they're still on the board. So uh, that's the end of uh, movement phase. There is no psychic phase because all the psychers are dead. Uh, he's not going to shoot anything so, or I think we've got some shooting, maybe some shooting? I think I'm going to throw a grenade. Alright, so we're going to throw a grenade and we'll see how this, uh, this goes in shooting phase. Yeah. So he's throwing a grenade right on top of my uh, sergeant there. Um, Hit. Direct hit, so that's going to hit, how many is that? It was four of them. I think it was four guys. Yep, that's four guys. So uh, four, what is it, strength six, right, on frag? Uh, no, four. Oh, strength four. So wounded on fours. One. One. 
So we got one wound. No problem. Three plus armor save. They're good. All right. Um, are these charge. guys going to shoot? No, because they want to charge. Okay, so they want to charge. So we're going to move on to the charge. We'll go here. So he will make the charge. Let me uh, let me figure out what I got to do for Overwatch, and then we'll come back to you with that. All right. So over here, coming for Overwatch, I've got two uh, grav cannons, and I've got five bolt random guns or pistols, whatever, hitting. So they're going to be hitting on fives and sixes because of uh, Grim Resolve. <laughs> All right, uh, that's uh, one way to fail that. All right, one wounding on a f uh, five, nothing. All right, so he's into combat, and that's going to be uh, actually super brutal. So uh, we'll do this and uh, see what else happens. All right, so over here we've got uh, these guys are charging into these guys. So for Overwatch, I've got two rapid-firing bolt guns that are twin-linked plus uh, melt multi-meltas. So hitting on fives and sixes. Okay, the twin link ones hit. Uh, wounded on threes. We got three wounds. So that's them. They're dead. All right. So uh, we'll come back to you with the uh, the combat, the one combat that got made that the uh, that he made it into. All right. So here we go. We've got uh, first. We're gonna start off with the hammer of wrath for him. So what is the strength? Base strength. Five. Base strength five. Toughness four. Looking for three. That's a wound. Three plus. He's good. So uh, now we're going to move on to initiative step four, which is all my guys. So I've got um, six attacks, because I've got five guys, each with a base of one, plus one for the extra close combat on the sergeant. So what's your weapon skill? Four. Weapon skill four. Mine's weapon skill four, so hitting on fours. All right. So I hit three times. Uh, toughness five, so I need fives to wound. Nothing. All right. So now you've got, what is it, four base? Plus four. Four base plus one on the charge. Hitting on fours. Three hits. Strength seven, so twos. Three wounds. Are they uh, AP? Nope. So three, three pluses. Okay, I failed one. So I lost one guy. And uh, so I lost combat, but they've got stubborn. So I need an eight. Oh, they failed. So uh, initiative roll off. All right. So they but uh, so oh one no three. So I got away. So I have to run away. Eight inches, which means I drop the relic. All righty. So uh, we'll move them out, and then uh, he'll consolidate, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right. So that's the end of turn three. Um, I managed to score, uh, keep the three scoring units on my turn on my side. Um, so I'm going to roll off, and I see I got uh, four and six on for this turn. So I have to destroy an enemy unit and have at least again six. Wow, I keep getting six. Uh, what do you have on yours, or uh, is it I have one and five? Or one, one, yeah, new ones. So you got one and five before, and then one and six. Uh, so he got he didn't get anything for that turn. Oh no, yeah, he didn't get anything that turn. And then he got one and six this turn, so he doesn't even have three units at at this point. So uh, so we'll see what happens on to uh, turn four. All right, movement for Dark Angels this turn. These guys kind of pivoted to look on him. These guys, uh, the non grav gun guys, moved out a bit. This guy moved up. This guy moved up. These guys moved over. They he stayed still there. These guys moved around. So I've got all the attack bikes over that way. And uh, he stood still so he could get uh, Skyfire Interceptor. So uh, we're going to move on to the Psychic Phase. I rolled a four. It gives me seven dice. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to try to cast Prescience on these guys. So I need two. It does not go off. All right, brutal. And then I've got two dice. I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to try to cast uh, Mind Worm on him. So I need one, it goes off, and it's not denied. So it's a focus witch fire, so I've got a hit. So I need to roll a three, it hits. It's a strength six AP two, so wounds on a three. It does not wound, all right. So uh, moving on now into the shooting phase. All right, so we're gonna start here with the predators shooting on him. So I've got three that are twin linked, six that are not. Hitting on threes, twin linked, 
Okay, that's a lot of not twin links that miss. Wounded on twos. Okay, so I've got uh, I've got four. So you want to make five, four or five pluses? Nope, he's dead. All right, so he's dead. And you know we talked about this. If he somehow managed to make all those saves and just like keep it, keep uh, tanking it, then we would keep going on. But he's off of that now. He's probably going to run up and contest it and take it. Uh, I know his reserves come in, but he's got a Chimera coming up on that side. That's just going to be torn to pieces by all that Melta, and he's got the Flyer that's going to be coming in that won't be able to contest that. So uh, I think we're going to call it at this point a Dark Angels victory. So. Uh, yeah, that's what you get for uh, deciding that you don't have to pay your quota. So uh, I'm sure we'll be back here on this planet as the uh, Dark Angels continue to uh, drive the point home that you don't you don't uh, ignore the Imperium. And uh, but yeah, it was a it was a fun game. It was fun playing with the uh, the, I, the the ITC rules with the modified Maelstrom. It's a lot of fun. I've been doing that in uh, tournaments around here. We use those, and it's uh, just something a little bit different. Makes things interesting, and uh, so you can't just sit back and just shoot at things and get kill points. But at the same time, you still get benefits for doing that. So. Um, it just makes things fun and interesting. So uh, again, hope you enjoyed the, the, the game. Uh, share, like, and subscribe. I've been Phil the Glacial Geek. My opponent's been Colin. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you again when we come back to this planet to uh, keep driving home the fact that you must pay your quota or face the wrath of the Sons of the Lion. So until next time, have fun.